Hi, my lovely Aries. Welcome to this reading. It's me here and welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing very, very well. Now, we are back at weekly readings indeed. Back to business, back as usual. Okay, what we're looking at is September 11th through to 17th, 2023. I really want to first look what's going on in your life right now, where are you at, what's going on, what kind of energies. And then we're going to clarify and we will have a look at what's coming for this week now what's happening in planets oh straight away interesting we have mercury on the 15th september is coming direct in virgo okay which is good to see wow focus changing your mind interesting and on the 14th september we have new moon in virgo as well so new moons are always for starting something new but perhaps especially in northern hemisphere this is not where we put the new seeds down this is really how we look at the what we have harvested and it's going to be like wanting self-improvement maybe reading some books or picking up some notes that you have done before and it's kind of work on what you have basically okay and mercury going right right no directly coming out of retrograde basically it will help us to finish our work and get more organized however you might still experience for a couple of weeks ish a little bit of shadow side so yeah that happens that happens but don't get um don't let those energies uh use you okay use the energies as they are okay aries what we need to know judication changing your mind and focus oh very interesting okay okay so what i'm seeing here is judication is actually look at the person here um is making decision choice calculated choice educated choice right aries so what you're doing is here you could be either one of these people even who has maybe you feel like you're being judged or you may be going for a work interview or um you're going for a loan or whatever or somehow where you put your kind of future in someone else's hands okay this is out of your reach but it could be as well that especially coming with your change of mind and focus it could be either a situation, it could be that situation goes against you and that really makes you um, eager, you're very eager and makes you wanting more or maybe you want of this thing but or something else or refocus or something different. Okay, so there could be diversion happening. So either way, there is some sort of choice, there's decision making happening as well. Look, this person is very intelligent, they have books here. He's thinking, okay, he's not sure yet. And it could be that there is something is happening right now in your life where you are unsure. Well, that happens quite often, right? <laughs> With all of us. So there is, but this is not just kind of, should I buy white bread or brown bread? This is something more, uh, more serious, more important. It could be choosing a partner, choosing a job, choosing, choosing um, a place to live. Anything like that, that really um, is something big. Is something big because look we have a focus which is 14 number five and you have in your um it is like a butterfly here which is kind of focusing on being free maybe some of you wanting to become self in you no know, self uh self-employed independent okay something is affecting you there is a kind of feel of um i can't do this anymore or something has to give it feels like you just desperately want to have a break, lucky break. Look, interesting, like, look, caterpillar, okay, butterfly in you is going to be maybe uncomfortable to become beautiful and come out from that caterpillar, right? What I'm saying metaphorically is maybe there is some sort of changes needs to be done, including you changing something, maybe habits, something else, maybe the way you spend money or how you what kind of friends you have who is influencing you i feel like here you are very focused on your mind right now changing your mind and focus so that could be really perfect time on, as i said self-improvements especially around new moon and virgo which is virgo is very analytic kind of sign right so check your sun this is this if this is your sun sign check your moon rising and venus because you might have different um energies at the same time you could get the same message coming your way as well Okay, without further ado, let's just clarify what is happening this week for you, my beautiful souls. If this feels like your kind of place and you get the value from this video, why don't you subscribe and like and comment? I really appreciate that. Oh, wow, lovers. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. It could be regarding relationship. 
whatever the relationship is as a friend as a lover as a colleague or family member there is some choice Ooh, ooh, okay. So we have the counterparts, Queen of Cups and King of Cups and the Happy Home. So it could be that, hmm, I don't remember you moving in together with the person or thinking about it or ch wanting to just move furniture around or do something. There's some sort of movement. I'm feeling there's a movement, okay? You might be made, maybe made even offer, would you like to become a partner? What I'm seeing here is interestingly, this Queen of Cups is not really talking to King of Cups. <laughs> She's looking, at, she, they have different opinions about something. And something is maybe changing your mind. It doesn't have to be relationship-wise, but it could be as well maybe at work. You have different kind of views on certain things. Let's clarify this issue, okay? Feels like maybe that you feel like you're a lot of pressured. It has to have a shadow side. You feel like something is out of putting pressure on you or someone is making you feel uncomfortable maybe they're comparing you to someone else or it looks very often people do that yeah you know some people say this is my favorite son he's the smartest and now he has to perform uh, to be the smartest this is my favorite daughter she's the i don't know she's the cleverest or funniest and and you kind of have these labels very often in a family right but it could be the same at work or in life Maybe something that how you view yourself is changing. Maybe that comes by age. That comes maybe by circumstance, situation. That can change as well. It doesn't mean that you are going to have argument or have a disagreement. But it feels like some of you, either you or someone else, has different opinion. And maybe you want to be with someone else. Or maybe you will have time to think and you realize this is not my place. This is not how I want to live the rest of my life. Either this is a person or job or actual the way you live in general. Okay. Very big questions. Very, very lot of big questions. Let's have qualify. Clarify. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. It's something that you want more security. And I don't know whether um, in your place of maybe your community where you live, you don't feel safe. And hence you want to maybe have a new home. Okay. Different people around you. There's a lot of emotions happening. We have the cups, 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 cups. A lot of, a um, lot of water here as well. And the focus card is a lot of the way you feel. There's a lot of emotional kind of um, dramas going on with the four of pentacles. Very often that could lead as well that you are not expressing yourself clearly, or keeping your cards close to chest. Maybe that could be the case. Okay, you don't want to reveal someone else what are your ideas, what it is that you would like to do. Okay, you have maybe something that you want to hide, right? But at the same time, this one is very money orientated, okay? And security, you want security, you want to um, peace and quiet, perhaps, at least have that kind of safety. Maybe you feel like you have that safety net has um, holes in it and you just want to make it more secure, okay? Let's have a look at what else we need to know. Let's clarify the lovers. What's this? What it is that you want? Wow, look. More water. Here we go. Aquarius. Aries. As a fire. As a fire sign. You want water. You want the opposites. Maybe, you know, it could be that, you know, very often they say opposites attract. And you feel like you're with either in a place you feel safe and um, fine. But somehow you feel like you would like to change your mind. Or do something completely 180% differently, okay? 180 degrees. Um, maybe you want to drop out, do something different. But I feel like here with the star is you are the star of the show. You are literally here standing there in the right and the center, okay? And it is well. The universe is going to grant you something. It is a harvest season. So not just only in, in uh, agriculture, but in the world as well. The universe grants those who have put some work in and um, work with integrity in fact as well now what this card is is a very lucky card in fact look we have the same you have so oh there could be some offer, offers coming your way or the offers have found you okay there's a, still some sort of shadow side going behind the scenes um some doubt or relationship but what i'm feeling here you have maybe you want to do some something on the side or something um that you have come across um discovered and something you would like to pursue 
maybe you need hence you maybe need to move home or move house around so you can actually do this and maybe the other person disagree or you feel like there's a lot of pushback from your uh, other colleagues or your community but you're going to do this anyway isn't it Aries you are very assertive you just want to do this um this is a page of pentacles there is definitely some offers coming or opportunity to make money and make more money and make that security even more stronger and and more stable let's put, pull one for them one for the road okay so what is happening we have high priest look when high priest appears um it depends on what kind of reading this is a card of corporation um religion um industry or institution okay maybe you want to become a judge <laughs> i don't know but it feels like there could be some um this is a card as well on performance in ways maybe you are wanting to become a lecturer or a therapist and teaching people something right doesn't matter what it is but maybe it's a card as well for selling something vintage reuse old products clothing whatever recipes and turn into something new okay that's how i feel and look we have here yeah <laughs> over money or over something there is going to be some some sort of um tower moment okay you might have some disagreement with someone even in yourself shall i make this regarding money or shall i focus on more emotions and it feels like the money is going to win more over that and especially with the tower next to three of swords i will clarify this now we can't i can't leave you there hanging um there will be some revelation it could be a revelation regarding a person maybe you know there could be some dishonesty or something else and you feel like or even in company there could be change of leadership okay and that can bring a lot of uncertainty but at the same time that could actually bring you a more clearer vision that just kind of gave you that nudge let's quickly clarify what is this about it could you could you sometimes a distractive situation that happens in life can actually more, more give you a more clearer um kind of answer yes money okay five swords yeah there's some changes definitely happening in either on your organization or the um area of money finances um there is some changes as well in your between your colleagues perhaps even your family members regarding money and what you want is stability and you want more and make it more stable maybe someone is wanting to spend too much money that they have and you're sticking to your guns fair play to you <laughs> fair play to you but there's i feel like there's a lot of change you want to really settle that's what i'm feeling here that word settling make things happen and not just be wishy-washy you make one heck of a big thing you want now what we have underneath here is as well that there are some changes happening okay um regarding leadership definitely so be prepared especially when you see the tower in reading that really definitely really sends a message like such as do not put the head in sand when there is a change is happening but i'm feeling you already in there despite whatever's going on you're already going some sort of transformation and very in fact actually feel positive and i think you feel positive about this as well good luck i would like to hear what it is about <laughs> all right my beautiful souls thank you so much for being here have a fantastic week and i'll see you in the next reading Ta -da.